Alright guys, so first let me show you how this thing works. You can only open it with one of two card keys or key fobs. Just like this. Concealed weapons in that drawer. Push it back up and that's it. So let's get into building. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut all my parts to length. I want them as short as possible because a shorter piece is a straighter piece. So I'm going to cut them to length, take them over to my bench. Wobble them, see what side's best to joint. I'm going to join it, plane it, and then mark out the legs. So in order to mark out the legs, I just cut a template out of some paper. I'm going to overlay it onto the end grain, looking at the grain direction. I want rifts on at all sides, so it's a nice straight grain on all si four sides. And then once I got it marked out on the end grain, I'm going to take it over my table saw and cut out the shapes. And you can use a band saw too, um, either one works. So at this time I'm going to get my tabletop all jointed, planed, and glued up. And I'll let it set for a while, bring it down to final thickness, and run my bevels around all four sides. So after the tabletop was all glued up, I went ahead and took my legs down to final thickness, marked out my mortises, and then started chopping. I did do like half of them with the drill press to see if there was a difference in saving me some time, and there really wasn't, so I'll just keep chopping them. So how I chose to do my tenons on this one was I used a marking gauge, marked all the way around to give me a nice line to put my chisel into. Took away 95% of the material with the table saw, with the dado blade, and then came in with my chisel after to clean up that shoulder line.
And as always, I go ahead and finish up my tenons with the router plane because it gives me a perfect fit every time. So after all the joinery was done on the legs, I went ahead and took it over to the bandsaw, cut out the taper that I wanted, and then I could just plane it after and then move on to the glue up. So whenever you're attaching all this hardware, I definitely recommend mocking it up, especially because of the struts. The bracket on the inside of the table, as you move it down, it applies less pressure, but it also will just start to drop, and then it just acts like a step. The higher you go, it like gradually lets down, which is what you want, but it also applies more pressure downwards, so whenever you go to close it up, you have to apply more pressure up. So there's definitely a trade-off, mock it up. I really like the way mine turned out, so I know there is a sweet spot out there. So of course I made this dovetail drawer to fit a specific, is it a box or a drawer? I don't know, <laughs> tell me below. Anyway, um, it fits a specific pistol that my father sent me because this whole project is for him. So I hold the tabletop to the base using some figure eights because at some point I bought like a bunch of them so I just had them lying around so I decided to use it this way and I went ahead and attached it to the top of the legs and I've done this before it works really well I've had no issues with my coffee table or side table that's done this way but uh, yeah at this point we're done so you're probably thinking that's a sexy table and I just want you to know that's okay because you're right 